My name is Dawn Sevre and I play Fanula in Our Ladies of Perpetual Sucker. Fanula is loud, brash, always wants a good time and she likes to think that she's a bit of a leader. She's a bit mental. The show is like a roller coaster ride. It's 24 hours, um, all fit into an hour and 40 minutes and it is a, the story of six young girls just going mad on a day out for 24 hours so you can expect fun, a lot of comedy, a lot of really good, good singing, a lot of rocking music and a lot of sadness. Bit of everything. The show is wild. Um, it's about young people and about growing up and everyone knows what that's like, how wild it is. Um, it is just everything that you encounter being a teenager and that is wild in itself. These girls don't have any kind of um, limits. They just do life as they want to do it, and I think that is quite well. We have two different types of music in the show. We have, obviously, all the choir, because they're part of a choir, um, and they sing all classical stuff, and then we rock out to the Electric Light Orchestra, which is the most kind of furthest away of any, anything I've ever done. It's like one minute you're singing Mendelssohn, then the next minute you're singing Long Black Road and you're like riffing and doing pop. It is the best pairing that could be put into a show, I think. Being part of this production is one of the most amazing things I've ever done. Uh, standing on stage at the end with nine women is empowering. It's um, eye-opening and it's wonderful, I think, for us to be stood creating something for a West End stage for commercial theatre, um, it's a beautiful thing to do. And it's uh, more of it should be done because women rule. I'm Isis Hainsworth and I play Orla in Our Ladies of Perpetual Sucker. Um, Orla is, she's kind of the naive one of the group, a little bit babyish, but she's incredibly strong and powerful, and I'm so privileged to play her. Um, she she has cancer and you kind of find out a bit more about that in the play so come and see it definitely <laughs> i mean the writing is so amazing it, it makes it a lot easier i mean the funny stuff is so much fun to do but yeah the emotional stuff is it's a lot harder and but it's great fun I, it's one of my favorite bits to do in the whole show but yeah, it's hard getting that balance. And But the response from the audience, I think we're managing to do that, so yeah. Oh my God, I'm so, so proud of it. I cannot even put it into words, really. I mean, this is the most amazing experience ever. And the fact that it's all women is just amazing. It just shows girl power. We're doing amazing. Like, it's, it's great. I'm so happy. I'm so happy, yeah. Hi, I'm Karen Fishwick. I play Kay in Our Ladies. Um, Kay is slightly different from the rest of the girls. Uh, she was brought up in a sort of more middle class uh, environment, background. It's, uh, has separate oppressions in, in a very different way than a lot of the girls do. Uh, during their day, the, the adventure that they have, she has got quite an, an epic struggle that she has to deal with. Um, which just flips her, you, uh, well hopefully your idea of who she is as a person. We all know that, we all know a Kay Clark in her life. She's, she's a complex little one, yeah. <laughs> the nice thing about uh, the show is that the, the artistic, uh, the production team have, have given us the room to sort of just be exactly who we are in, in the room and uh, are playful and experimental and um, a lot of our personalities are in there as well I think. So. It has a lot to do with that and it's, it's just fresh every night really, which is a, an absolute treat. I'm absolutely loving my life because all the classical stuff is such a treat. Mashed in with the ELO and whether it's classical or like this rock stuff that we're doing, Martin Zoll's arrangements are a, a, an absolute joy to sing and um, we're, we're whipped within an inch of our lives and singing it as well, which uh, is, is a good thing because then like when it all comes together it's, it's an absolutely epic feeling but music just like speaks out to everyone doesn't it so um, yeah it's a treat. I am, I am so so proud and um, yeah it's, it's epic I, I, can't, I can't even like sum up words for how what that feeling is it's epic. Hello um, my name is Kirsty McLaren and I play the character of Manda in Our Ladies of Perpetual Sucker. Amanda is an, quite an eccentric, 
energetic, full of life girl who just really wants to be loved and find her place in the world. She she's quite naive um, and she she always has to she always feels like she has to kind of justify herself in her group of friends a little bit, which certainly I relate to quite a lot. And um, yeah, she just really wants to to have a good time and she really wants to be loved by everybody. So. It's just getting getting to live that little bad angel that you never got to live when you were that age. Um, certainly I didn't. And um, it's just really nice to do something that is a bit shocking but is also really moving and really life affirming and, and everyone can enjoy it. Because once you get over that first five minutes, you just accept that that's, what, that's what, how they talk and how they are and you just learn to really love them. It takes them on a journey. So so often when you see a musical, it's all about the, the music is pushing on the story. But the whole great thing about our show is the music doesn't push on the story. We literally just stop the story for a minute and do a song that we really like singing. And it just gives that it gives the audience that little insight into how these girls what these girls love and that is music. That's what links them all. And it's it's that thing of how even though they're from different backgrounds, they're from different they're from different areas they just all of that thing connecting them and it's so lovely to have that. Hi, I'm Frances Mealy McCann and I play Kayla in Our Ladies of Perpetual Soccer. Kayla is rock chick of the group. She loves music but her own taste in music is very particular and yeah she's one of the girls likes to have a laugh. I think on the surface when you look at it, you know, it's all a fun day out, you know, sex, singing, some book us, swearing, but really the layer underneath is about growing up and it's about young girls growing up and, you know, the challenges they face and finding their sexuality, maybe illnesses and just how they find their own way in life. You know, I like to think that I was rebellious in my teenage years, but actually when I'm playing this girl on stage, I was nothing like that. So it's a great release to be able to be that independent, carefree girl. And it's nice doing that every night because then I take a little bit away from it and it just sets, up, sets into myself and I become a little bit more confident, I think. So the music is a massive part of the show. Although it's not branded a musical, it's more like a gig. So in the beginning we had three hardcore days of just learning the music and it was constantly changing so you're you know constantly adapting to the different styles. There's choral music, there's hymns, there's rock, there's ballads. So it really stretches the voice. And I'm singing soprano, which I've never done before, so again I'm just like adding more, you know, strings to my bow. It's great. It's so incredibly liberating. At the end of the show, when all nine of us stand in a row and just take it in and take our bow, I feel like we're really making a stamp on the West End and for girls in the business and just girls and women in the world in general. My name's Caroline Dega and I play Shell. And Shell is like the mum of the group, but she's not like a cuddly, kind, caring kind of a mum. She's a little bit like, she knows what's best for everybody and she's gonna make sure that they all have the best possible day. And that's what the play is. Everyone having their best possible day. And well, I was involved in one of the workshops for the play. So I read the script in quite an early version. And when I got on the train to go down, all I knew was that it was called The Sopranos at that point, because that's what the book's called. So when I got the script through, I realized that what I'd had in my head when I heard Sopranos was not what the play actually was. It was amazing. And the minute I read it, I knew it was something that I needed to be part of. It wasn't just like I wanted to, it was something in me that needed to be part of the story that was being told and um, in actual fact we had a conversation about what characters we connected with most and I said Shell from the beginning so I'm over the moon that the character I connected with most was how Vicky and the rest of the team saw me connect with as well and um, that's what I've ended up playing Shell so and yeah that was it I loved it. I just loved it the minute I read it I loved it Obviously the choral songs are because they're in the choir to do with the school and obviously the choir competition is the thing that's got them going to Edinburgh so that's why those exist because without those songs and without the competition then they wouldn't have never been going to Edinburgh and the day would never have happened but the rock songs that are in it, the way that we made it was that we decided we were going to have a gig 
and Kyla got to decide what the music was going to be and because she um, has her dad's musical influences that's where ELO and Judy Zook came from because obviously the play exists in the 1990s when you didn't have like iTunes and YouTube so the music that you know people teenagers accessed was in their mum and dad's record collection so um, that's where our soundtrack comes from basically Kyla's dad's record collection <laughs> incredibly proud like I've never seen a show like it I've never been in a show like it I've been proud from the minute I ever got to be involved in it I have been so proud that I'm part of it and getting the show to here tonight in our West End debut and sending it to audiences that have never seen anything like it before is is really incredible and to have the phenomenal girls that I share the stage with, cast and band, and the girls that are our covers, and all of the creative team. I mean, it's a real powerhouse, and I feel really proud that I get to be just a tiny part of that.